What is going on, everybody, and welcome back to Mr. Plays, and today I will be talking about what I want out of Kirby in the Forgotten Land. So the demo for this game already came out, and it was pretty fun. It was a nice quick taste of what the game will be like. I enjoyed the demo. You can also check out uh, my full thoughts on the demo from another channel. We have uh, another video we have on the channel. And so this game is coming out very soon, actually this Friday. So I'm going to be telling you what I want out of this game, what I expect, and what will make it a successful game for me. So what do I want out of Kirby in the Forgotten Land? First off, I just want a fun game. Kirby games are never that serious or story dependent and are just supposed to be fun and I want the Forgotten Land to keep up that trend. For my more specific desires, I want levels that vary in both style and also each have their own unique twist to them. I really don't want the levels to feel repetitive, obviously. I want each level to be fresh, new, and exciting in some sort of way. This can definitely be done through the new mouthful modes. So I think they should not use the same mouthful mode too many times. So you don't want to use it like more like four times or something in the game. You want each level to really have its own unique twist. And then when it, you do reuse a mouthful, it should be used in a different way. That is in the level, either a different way to complete the level or a different way to get uh, collectible inside that level. Uh, I also want 100% in the game to be rewarding. I want to receive something cool from putting in all the work of getting all the stamps, doing all the challenges, and going through everything you have to do to 100% any game. Whether that is a really cool collectible you can get, or what I would really love is an exclusive ability you can have for 100% would just be absolutely amazing. Also, I want the new Waddle D Town to be really interactive and have a ton of cool mechanics added to the game. I want it to not be hard to level up your abilities, I also want to be able to pick and choose the abilities to upgrade and not go in a set or heavily guided order. So what I mean by this is I don't want the game to push you into upgrading specific abilities at specific times, I want it to be free enough so that you can choose what your favorite abilities are and upgrade those when you want. I also want Wild D Town to really expand as you progress through the game. I don't want the town to be super necessary to complete in the game, so I don't want you to have to progress your town too much to get to the end of the game, but I want it to help out a lot, making the game a lot easier and also a lot more entertaining to play. I want new stores to open up as the player progresses through the game. I don't want this to be something where practically everything is unlocked at one point in the game and only a few new things are added later in the game. I want it to be a consistent flow of new stuff as you progress through the game. Next, I want bo fun boss fights that are all very different. I want each boss fight to have some cool and unique mechanic to it that makes each boss memorable in some way. I think some boss fights should make use of the mouthful mode, whether it's the vending machine, the cone, where you have to like slam on their head or something. I feel like that'd be cool, but uh, I feel like there's just so many different ways that they can make fun boss fights. They could even have one boss fight where it's ability-less, and you're only able to shoot stars at the enemy or do something to get the enemy without having a ability. I feel like that'd be cool. There are just so many things that they could do with the boss fights, and I just want them to explore the full potential of it. I feel like there are just endless possibilities, and I just don't want the bosses to feel too similar, and then have it feel like you've been playing the game for like 10 to 15 hours, and you fought the si a very similar boss like a few times. So these are my main hosts for Kirby and the Forgotten Land. I really just want a fun and relaxing game that I can pick up and start playing, not have to focus too hard too much. I'm really excited for this game, and let me know down in the comment section below how excited you are for the game. Also, don't forget to subscribe with notifications on so you don't miss any of our uploads. We're going to be posting some content about Kirby and the Forgotten Land when it comes out. Also, a bunch of Nintendo content will be coming your way. And also, be sure to, if you like the video, give it a like. Uh, it helps out the channel, and that's what the button's for. But until next time, peace!